in the previous videos we have completed with the theory section all the formulas we have completed and i have given a pretty good hint and note that you have to follow while solving the this chapter that is leverage also known as business risk and financial risk now let's move on to the practical sums practical sums are very easy uh, as i have taught all the theory and the formulas on the basis of that i hope your practical sums get little bit easier you all don't find any difficulty how to solve the sums so firstly please find this sum in your practice manual please pause the video and find it out and we'll solve it right now okay please write the question number which is there in your practice manual and have a practice of writing the page number of practice manual when you whenever you are solving a particular sum okay it will be very easy for you all whenever you all are revising it so that you can easily uh, reconnect where uh, from which page you have solved it rather than question numbers okay so i hope you all have found out this particular sum this is question number 4 and please write like this pm in my pm it is 4.57 write respective pages of your pm okay do not copy blindly okay so what does the question says consider the following information for strong limited what they have provided us as ebit pbt that is profit before tax also known as earnings before tax fixed cost and what they have asked us to find out is calculate the percentage of change in earning per shares if sales increase by 5% so in short they have asked us the formula of degree of combined leverage because only there the formula is percentage change in eps divided by percentage change in sales so firstly we need to find out combined leverage how we will go i'll show you now firstly you have to draw the format particulars rupees here they have not given us with any sales and all they, uh, they have directly started from the fixed cost so we'll write firstly over your contribution then less fixed cost they have provided us with the fixed cost they have also provided with ebit that is earning before interest and tax less interest which can be easily found because ebt is already provided to us less pbt I've written PBT just because you all don't get confused. It is given in the question that way. So firstly, we'll write the missing figures over here. Uh, not missing figures, the figures that are given in the questions. We'll write that first. So they have provided us with the EBIT. EBIT will write one thousand one twenty. It is in lakhs. So we'll write on the top in lakhs. Okay. Do not forget to write these things in exam. These are all the silly mistakes. This is the reason why, uh, if you are uh, giving a second attempt or any attempt, re-attempt, these are the small things that affects your marks. Uh, you all wonder, I have done the entire sum, right? These all small things matter. Please do not forget to write this. Even if your entire sum is wrong, if we look at this, it uh, looks one thousand one twenty, but it is actually one thousand one twenty lakhs. Okay. So these are all the silly things that may that may cause uh, reduction in your marks. Okay. EBIT we have filled EBIT over here they have provided us with PBT PBT is 320 uh fixed cost is how much 700 so if we want to find out contribution what is the formula of contribution contribution minus fixed cost is equal to EBIT okay so contribution this all things are important you have to follow this okay just do not go uh, reverse calculation and fill the missing figures it won't fetch you marks contribution is equal to ebit minus fixed cost so they have provided us with ebit sorry plus 1120 plus 700 which is equal to 1820 Lakhs, okay. So we we'll just simply write it over here, and we'll mark it over here one from one in bracket. You have to write it like this. Just a reference it, not a big thing. So now interest is remaining. We'll calculate interest also. There is no net, but still I am showing you all how to present it in our exams. EBIT. Minus interest 
is equal to EBT. Therefore, minus interest is equal to EBT minus EBIT. Okay. So firstly, what we need to find, we need to find out the interest. So it is minus interest. What is EBT? EBT is three twenty minus EBIT is one one two zero. One one two zero. So interest is equal to minus one one two zero minus three twenty, which is equal to eight hundred minus eight hundred. Therefore, minus minus. Is equal to positive 800. So interest is equal to 800, and we get 320. I hope this is quite clear. So now what they have asked us is to calculate the percentage of change in earning per share if the sales increase by 5%. So before finding out this, we need to find out the static formula of combined leverage. So we'll find out combined leverage first. Combined leverage static formula. I am telling you all again. Please do not write static formula in bracket in exam. I am just writing this for your reference. Is equal to contribution divided by EBT. How much is contribution? Contribution is equal to one thousand eight hundred and twenty. EBIT is how much? EBT sorry, it is three twenty. So let's divide this one eight two zero divided by three twenty is equal to. Five point six eight seven five times. This is very important. You have to write this. Now we'll move ahead and we'll find out the change. Okay, degree of combined leverage is equal to percentage change in EPS divided by percentage. Change in sales. So degree of combined leverage is how much? Five point six eight seven times is equal to. We have to find out percentage change in sales, so it will remain percentage change in sales only. Divided by percentage change in. Sorry, percentage change in EPS. I'm sorry, I got carry forward. Percentage change in EPS divided by percentage change in sales is given. How much? Five percent. So we have to just multiply it. Therefore, percentage change in EPS is equal to five point six eight seven five into five percent into five. Which is equal to twenty eight point four three seven five percent. So you have to write this statement, final statement. If five percent change in sales, then the EPS will increase by. Twenty-eight point four three seven five percent, or you can use the old interpretation that I have taught you. You are, you can follow that also. There is no harm. This is a generalized statement. It is very simple. You can write it on your own words also. Okay. So firstly, I want you all to pause the video and copy the sum. I hope you all have copied till here. Please copy the remaining part. I hope you all have copied till here. Please pause the video and copy till here. I hope you all have copied. Uh, I want you all to note this down. In the practice manual, they have first solved 
operating leverage then they have solved financial leverage and later in combined leverage they have multiplied operating leverage with uh, financial leverage so you don't need to do that because you already know the formula of combined leverage and the degree of combined leverage formula so there is no need of taking such a long way you take a shortcut there is no harm but do not do season mistakes like liking in lakhs times that all things are very important okay so please do not do that mistake and one more thing i want you all to know is if this sum is there in your practice manual and if it is in a same manner just see the sum pause the video and see the sum if it is in the same manner then ignore this sum because the sum is wrong i'll show you on the next page also if it is exactly same please ignore the sum it is wrong do not waste time on solving this sum okay if you can see i have written over here wrong sum do not waste time on this okay simply write that if it is same okay